Hello and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa and I live in Michigan with my husband and my kiddos. You can find me on Instagram at Ravelry at 72 Stitches. And this is episode 258. I got my coffee, uh, peppermint mocha creamer. This is the first summer sock camp mug. I believe it started in 2020. So I got the OG mug. It's still, it's still good. I haven't broke it yet. <laughs> Hopefully I just didn't jinx myself, but. I only really use my summer sock camp mugs in the summer. So they don't get used very often. I take care of them. All right, today is May 31st, 2024, and it is Friday, and it is 9.09 a.m. Um, this is my YouTube channel where I share my knitting, crocheting, cross-stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. Today it is all knitting, and it's probably going to be all knitting for a long time. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. Um, I got my chickens up here, that little mini chicken. My daughter keeps bugging me. My youngest to make her another one for her birthday <clears throat> she's like i i don't want you to knit it in, or crochet in front of me but i want it for my birthday so i have like two weeks to finish that i think i'm gonna do it next friday they have my kids have their cedar point trip for the band uh next friday they're gonna be gone all day so i think i should you know whip one up it shouldn't take me that long i think they're I think the first one took me like three hours and the second one was pretty fast after that, but I think I can do it. Anyway, I have two finished objects and three works in progress. Um, we will talk about stash stats for May next week. I, I will not finish anything today, but, um, I'll just wait until the next episode to go over that. Um, I will have all my show notes right down there in the description box. I'll have links to where you can find me. I'm most active on Instagram. Um, I'll have my Ravelry group where Knit All the Stripes Cal is starting officially tomorrow. But if you started already, that's fine. That ends August 31st. And Knit or crochet whatever you would like with self-striping yarn. Any brand, commercial, indie dyed, whatever floats your boat. If you don't have any self-striping and you got scraps and you want to do something scrappy, that's fine too. Just make sure I can see stripes. I just want to see stripes. Yeah, I think that is it. Uh, for that cal, I also have my Knit All the West Knits. No, knit all the MCALs and knit all the scraps. The uh, MCALs are Stephen West uh, MCALs. Those are year long knit alongs, and all of the rules are over in my Ravelry group. You guys are loving the knit all the scraps. I love it. I like go. I haven't went there in a couple days into the FO thread. Or the chatter thread but you guys are posting stuff like crazy i love it okay what else i'll have my reading and watching down there i will also have um no project pages today i don't think yeah uh yarns bags patterns all that good stuff will be right down there all right i think that's my spiel oh i forgot I don't know if you've noticed, I've rearranged again. I am like notorious for just like rearranging my cubes. <laughs> Seems like every every month or two, it's like, mm, we need to change this up. So I put my blankets right there. Um, this has a mesh like bottom. So I put a, card, a piece of cardboard from a cereal box on there so it won't snag. But I got my cozy, my DK Cozy Memories and my uh, Granny Stripe blanket. I'll put those there so I can see them and admire them and say, ooh, love them. And then you guys can still see them. <laughs> and then I combined my, oh, this is all my indie dyed. 
I did open, um, I had like three, I think I had three mystery skeins left. I unwrapped them all. I'm done with this. I was done. One of them is going in my, went in my summer sock camp basket. The other two, I guess since I'm talking about it, I'll show you. I'll just show you. I'll just pause. I'll take a brief intermission. So these were the two that went back in my stash. This one I might, but if I need a, if I need a refill of my basket. Uh, these are both Night Owl fibers. This one is Beats Bears Battlestar Galactica. I believe that's a office reference. So that was a maybe. This was a not right now. I believe I was gifted this one. Puppy love. She had, she had to, um, she was doing this for a donation for some vet bills, I think, and somebody bought it and didn't care for it, so they sent it to me. So this is not right now. This is a maybe. So that's what the other two were. Or the other part are the two. Oh my. And then this one. I was wondering where this one was. This one went right in the basket. Look at that. Mustache yarn. I know I'm doing things out of order today. Around the corner, which is Sesame Street. I believe each stripe is a Sesame Street character, I think. I don't know how many stripes there are. Doesn't say, but that is definitely going in the basket. So we'll talk about my summer sock camp basket in a bit, but those were the last of the mystery skeins. And then I decided to take all of my um, Star Wars colorways for mustache, took those out, put those in the basket. So I got everything to fit in one cube. So all my indie dad fits in there. Oh, kind of breaks my heart a little. And then that's all my Opal, Regia, West Yorkshire Spinners. And then that's all my Patton's Croy. That's not Patton's Croy, that's something else, but similar. But yeah, that's it. That's all my full skeins. I'm trying not to panic, but I'm panicking a little. Maybe I need to slow down. I don't know. I'm trying not to buy, I know you're always like, well, just buy more yarn. And I'm, I would love to buy more yarn, but my budget doesn't really allow for a influx of yarn. <laughs> but I, I got like one, two, three, the one that's sitting right here behind, those three all have scraps in them. So, you know, I still got a lot of yarn. <laughs> okay eight minutes in let's talk about some finished objects and then we can talk about my summer sock camp basket again or i can show it to you nope not those ones finish object number one i love these so much oh, look at these i don't know where i was <clears throat> last week trying to think. For last Friday was the start of summer sock camp, so I believe I was like maybe there or maybe I just had the cuff done on the first sock. Oh my, I love these. So this is Freckled Whimsy Sugar Quill. Um, this was a Spells and Things Club from January 2023. Can't believe these are sitting in my stash for almost a whole year before I knit them. Look at these. Um, the mini was this green, and I did it for heels and toes because it ended. I was ready for the toe right, so there's that color, the same one. It ended ready for green, and I'm like, that's it. I'm using the mini for the toe also because it's green, and it just worked out. So if it works out, I do it. If not, I don't worry about it. I got them to match. And I'll talk about all of my sock stuff right now because I have a lot of whips and finished objects and I don't want to repeat myself. I think all of them, all of them are finger, fingering weight. 
I use US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter needle. I do 12 rows of rib, two by two rib, knit two, purl two, uh, 64 stitches. I use Chagu Red Lace needles, 32 inch. Magic Loop, I knit all my socks, Magic Loop, cuff down. And I used pattern, 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 uh, Vanilla Socks on Magic Loop by Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady. So I think that's all of my spiel. I think I did 70-ish rows. I don't remember. Somewhere between 70 and 75 is what I usually like to do for my leg with after the cuff. So, oh, I love these so much. These are the perfect uh, pair to start summer sock camp with. So this was pair number one for summer sock camp. And here's pair number two for summer sock camp. You did not see these, I don't think. I didn't write it down, but I don't know if I, I swear, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just had a cuff done for those other socks. Maybe I talked about casting these on. I'm looking at previous show notes. It's not on here. So obviously I did not cast these on. So you did not see these as a whip and bam. <sighs> Look at these. This is Mustache Yarn, R2D2. I know she renamed her colorway names. I don't know what the new name is, but that's what my tag said. Got them to match. The heel is in Lolo did it. Probably angry rhino. Look at the speckly stripes. So I am definitely, um, I finished C3PO like a week ago, two weeks ago, and I'm definitely going to be wearing the mismatch. Definitely. I mean, not all the time, but when I'm feeling extra jazzy i'm gonna wear a mismatch and i will definitely be wearing r2d2 with c3po also i will be wearing han with chewy when i finish chewy and i don't know, maybe wear luke and leia together i don't know we'll see i do have um you know i think anakin and hmm, what would i wear with anakin I don't know. Maybe uh, Kylo Ren. I have that one. I have not knit that one yet. And let's see. I'll wear Ray with BB-8. So yeah, I got it all figured out. I just gotta get. I just gotta get knitting them. <laughs> Absolutely love these. Same same needle, same everything. Love them. These went fast. Oh, I love these so much. These are mine too. I think all of these, all socks. Yeah, all the socks are me, are mine this time. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell the dates. Oh my. Pause, pause, pause. One of these days I will get this. All right. This pair was started on May 24th, and I finished them May 28th. And these socks. I finished, I mean, I started May 24th and I finished them May 29th. Also, I did something a little bit different. I started the sock, finished it, I think. Maybe I cast on the cuff of this one. I'll probably cast on both cuffs. And then I set these ones down. I knit this whole sock. And then I picked up the cuff of the sock and I finished the sock. Then I went back and did this sock and finished it. And then I went back and did this sock and finished it. That's how I did it. And I thought it would slow me down, but it absolutely does not. Obviously, I knit two pairs of socks in 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, in six days. Wow. So that's what happens when you don't work on anything else, if you just work on socks. I finished two pairs in six days. Is that right? That can't be right. 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That's six days. I, whoa. Okay. All right. I'm on fire. I can't wait to show my, my stats next week. I want to cover some of this up. Look at the in and out. Whoop, whoop. So that's a sneak peek. I'll show you that next week. So that's my finish objects. Yep, it's summer sock camp, so you're going to be seeing more socks and probably all summer. I mean, I knit socks all the time, but I don't think I'm going to be knitting anything else. I don't think. So if you're not into socks, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm into, so. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Whips. I just got out my, my new Taylor Swift bag from Molly Klein Designs. She does not have any of these anymore, I don't think. This was like a special pre-order. And mine got lost and they finally arrived like a week or two when they were supposed to. Ugh, I was getting kind of nervous. Anyway, they are here. And I've just realized that the rest of my whips are all mustache yarn. Uh, I, I guess I am just wanting to use my mustache. This one is sedated. I did open this. This was one of my mystery skeins and I was like, I was excited to knit it. So I just, after I finished my R2-D2 socks, bam, these went on my needles. And yep, I think that's it. Now I did, um, so I cast these on yesterday and I did the cuff and all the leg. So this morning I put in, before I sat down to record, I put in my heel flap and heel turn. And then I started, I picked up my gusset stitches and did a few rows. So I'm hoping that these will be done today or the sock will be done. Let's see. For the heels and toes, I'm using this leftover um, lemonade chop. I thought it went good with it. I'm just going to do um, cuffs and heels. Because look at that gradient. Gradient? I don't know how she does that. But it did have some like pops of like this rainbow speckled in there. So I'm just like, that looked like the perfect mini to go with it or scrap. If you're curious about my little stitch markers, I will link a video down below. I did 72 rows. <laughs> 72 rows for the leg. I just knit it until I finish this white and yeah so that's the first sock I do not have the second sock cast it on yet probably when I finish this one I will cast it on so yeah there we go I love it Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I won't I don't have to show you the the cake because I did all the repeats. Oh. Love it. So that is sock whip number one. And the two, the two sock whips going at once is not stressing me out. So we're just going to continue with it. I think I have my next sock picked out, but I'm going to wait because, you know, I might feel different in six more days, right? <laughs> Okay, whip number two. This is in, what is this? Unusual, unusual surroundings. I will link his shop below, but I don't think he's making bags anymore. That's okay. Life gets lifey. Mustache yarn. Lando. So as I said, I would like to have a, at least... With two of my sock whips, one of them has to be the Star Wars here. At least I'm going to go with that until I'm like, I need a break. We'll see. This one's just like a pitiful whip, but I'm going to show you anyway. I just have a cuff. 
in one row, I think. Yep, a cuff in one row. But look at that. Look at that, how that striped with a cuff. Oh, it couldn't have worked out better. It's very symmetrical. Mm, I love it. And here is the cake. Now, I'm having a dilemma about the heel. I think gray is too boring, but I was thinking of this color. I don't know. By the time this goes up, the socks are probably already gonna be done. But would it be weird to put something jazzy for the heels? Just the heels. I don't know, I think I'm gonna do it because I love speckly heels with self-striping. I absolutely love it. Now there is blue in here. And I mean, there's yellow, but it's kind of, it's not the same yellow in this. So I don't know. I've got some hot pink and some hot orange, some green. I don't know. I think I'm going to do it. Stay tuned next week to see if I did it or not. I looked through my stash and I really don't have anything that's large enough that would go well with this. Unless I use like a uh, stroll. I don't know. I hurt my, I, I'm leaning towards this. I think I'm going to go nuts. We'll see. So that's the plan. I think this is, this is lemonade shop. I bought specifically for heels and toes. Cuffs, whatever meets my fancy. I don't remember what it's called. I think it was called Polly in my pocket or something. So about Polly Pocket. So that's the plan. Also this side note, I think I would do the heels in that color too for um, this Sesame Street one Ooh, around the corner. Yes, yes, I think so. All right. So that's the, that's the uh, thought process with that. We'll just, We'll go, we'll go crazy. Why not? They're my Star Wars socks. I can do what I want. I don't know. Does Lando have a very... I don't know the Lando character very well. Does this look like a Lando? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that is the other sock. Got it started. Okay, now we're going to talk about my hat. I really need to post this on Instagram because I keep forgetting. This is like my nighttime project. Um, this is a bag made by Amy from Happy Little Yarn. This is my project that I work on at night. Like somewhere between half hour to an hour before I go to bed. Mustache yarn. <laughs> Death Star Retirement Party. But yeah, I started this like last week and I haven't posted a picture of it on Instagram. And after I did the crown um, increases, it is pooling like crazy. I was like, I was hoping that it wouldn't, but it did and it's fine. I'm okay with it, I think. So there is my marker. I'll try to hold it still for you. That is a Twin Mountain Handcrafts. Hold still coffee cup. So that's how much I did this week. Is that like three inches? I don't know. But as you can see, it is pooling. It's pooling. I don't know how I feel about that. I was kind of hoping, I mean, I really like the top. But yeah, right after I finished the top, it started pooling like crazy. So I don't know. I think it'll be okay. Maybe after I finish it, I'm going to make this, I'm going to use pretty much use the whole skein and I'll fold it, have a folding brim like I did with my Taylor Swift hat and maybe it won't be as bad. But here we are. I love these colors. It's like a gray base with like greens, pinks, oranges, blues, and black like speckles. So this is the Muscle Burra hat. Didn't say that. Uh, I'm doing the adult medium. And my stitch count is 128. I've talked about my my uh, my gauge 
I get eight stitches per inch, but I like the seven stitches per inch gauge on my head. The other one is too big. And what I'm using a Chogu circular needles. I think these are threes. Three is 3.25 millimeter. So here we are. I will move my stitch marker. And yeah, I'm not in any rush to finish this project. I just, I mean, there was one night I didn't work on it because I was like so close to finishing a sock. It's like, I just want to finish a sock. So we did that. I will move my marker. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this. It's a speckly hat. A pooling speckly hat. But it is, the pooling is like spiraling, so it's not like it's going to be like blob of pink on this side. Blob of orange. But that's what it was looked like it was doing, but it's moving as you can see. There's the blue, there's the green. The orange is going this way and the pink is going this way. So it's going to spiral. So it might look cool. So there we go. That's my hat. And that's all I got about that. Haha. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> so I will knit until this weighs like, I think my increases were 8 grams. So I will knit until I have uh, 10 grams left probably and then do my decreases. And that's it. But I uh, absolutely love this project, this pattern. I love it. I don't know how many I've made, but I love wearing them. I love knitting them. I mean, the, t the, the start is kind of annoying, but the more you make of these, um, the easier it gets. And I did not do the pinhole cast on. I just cast on uh, eight stitches and divided it into magic loop and did my increases. I did not. The pinhole cast on does not work for me. I've tried many times. It's just, it's just a pain. It's easier to just uh, do eight, divide it in half, be done. <laughs> so that is all of my whips. Yeah, that's it. Um, let's see. What else? We talk about reading and watching. I guess we'll talk about reading and watching. I don't have any stash enhancement. I was good. I haven't bought any yarn since the Star Wars update for mustache. So that's like going on three weeks. So pat, pat, pat. But tomorrow is June 1st. So my Freckle Whimsy Clubs will be getting renewed. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully in July I could just buy, or June, just two, those two skeins. My Halloween club and my Christmas club. I'm hoping. I mean, my budget well, it does allow for like an extra skein or two, if my heart desires. But I would like to kind of save that. I will save it for a rainy day, I guess. <laughs> okay. Reading. I finished. You Like It Darker by Stephen King. That book was so good. I love it. There's stories. These were short story collections. Um, some were longer than others. Some were better than others. This, like, this was like classic Stephen King horror. Uh, wasn't, I don't think there was a very, like, gory. But we had some ghost twin children that were chanting things. That was, you know, that's Stephen King for you. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I did, I listened to that on audio. Um, and I started Air of Fire. That's the Throne of Glass book three. I think I'm like 10% in. That book is chunky. So you might be hearing me say that for a long time. <laughs> Until I can 
I bet if I did those on audio, I could get through them real fast, but those books are very popular and I'd have to, be, I'd be on hold forever. So I'm buying the Kindle versions. The Kindle versions are like, at least the first three were like eight bucks. So I decided just to go for it. And that way I don't have to hurry up and finish it and rush. So that's what I'm reading. I'll have to pick out a new audiobook. I don't know what I'm gonna read. I had a book picked out. Um, I wanted to read the Three Body Problem. I don't know. I don't remember what the author is. Um, but Netflix has a series out. My husband wants to watch it, and I'm like, wait, I want to read the book first. I finished the Stephen King book. I remember seeing that book on Hoopla, and I'm like, I will just get that right now. You don't have to wait with that. You just have six credits for a month and if they're gone you have to wait till next month but I went to look and they don't have it anymore and I was very upset so I had to put a hold on it at the library um, it says I'm second in line but there's like 300 people waiting so I don't know how that happened something something's fishy with that it says like 16 people waiting per copy maybe there's a lot of copies I don't know but hopefully that comes in soon maybe I'll just wait until that comes in But I want to read the book before we watch the movie or the TV show. So I gotta get on that. Um, watching, we just have Netflix. My husband and I finished Resident Alien season two. I love that show. If you've seen it, if you like funny sci-fi, go for it. It's hilarious. I love it. Um. I don't know his last name. It's Alan starts with a T. He was on Firefly. He's the main character. Oh, I love him. He's so good. So funny. Awkward and funny. That's good. Um, then my husband and I started Outlander season six. I love that show too. So good. Um, I have not read all of those books. I forgot where I left off. Is there eight or nine books out? I don't know. Yeah, I haven't I haven't read those either. I need to get I need to get on it, but those books are like a thousand pages. <laughs> and I know there it takes the author a long time to write those, and that's fine. So I've kind of been like Hoarding a couple, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> so that's it for reading and watching. Or no, it's not. I forgot. Uh, we watched Monty Python and the Holy Grail, 1975. That was our Friday movie. Oh, the movie's so good. I've seen it before many times, but my that's what movie my youngest daughter picked out. She thought it was funny, so... That's what we watched. Bring out your dead. Oh, that was so much. <laughs> if you have not seen that, you need to you need to get on that, okay? I feel like everybody has seen that. But if you have not, please go see it. It's on it's on Netflix. I'm sure it's on other other places too. I'm sure you can rent it on Apple. Please go watch it. It's it's a classic. <laughs> Now that is it for reading and watching. Um, I don't, I really talked, I already talked about my basket. I guess I'll show it to you again. My summer sock camp basket because I added to it. This isn't going to be a, a, a weekly thing unless you guys want to see it. I don't know. If you guys want to see it every week. But here we go. So here down. Here down is my Star Wars. And let's see. I think I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven left. I think I'm going to cast on um, an opal one next. I haven't decided. This one or this one. I mean, they look very similar. This one has more red in it. 
And this one has more speckly uh, stripes. I don't know if you can see that. This is like a weird pattern. I don't know what pattern that is, but I'm just going to be knitting straight like this one. <laughs> so I don't know. Let's see. Right. I guess I will ask the audience here. This one, this the reddish one, is 4054. There's the uh, painting that it was inspired by right there. So 4054. Four zero five four, or four zero five five, and there's the picture. So, what do you think I should cast on next? So we have, we'll just say fifty five and fifty four. Fifty five, fifty four. Which one? And I think. I am just going to knit the whole sock. I'm not going to do anything special with the heel. I don't think I'm going to cut. I'm not going to add a mini. I'm just going to go straight through it. So comment below. 55. Is that 55? 54. 54. Or 55. 55 is the lighter one. <laughs> you guys, I don't know what you're like, that doesn't make, that's not a big difference. Pick whatever you want. I still have my Halloween one in here. Oh my. See, everybody knit that. I'm so tempted. And Stacy's like, I was thinking about August. I'm like, oh no, can I wait till August? I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to get another one in the mail here pretty soon. So here's my basket. I think I have 20 in there now. I don't know where I was at last week because I added a bunch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, I'm at nineteen. Oh, here's twenty. I forgot. We gotta put that one back in there. <laughs> twenty skeins. And then I realized that after I put all of my Star Wars yarn in here, and then this uh, the Sesame Street one, I only have one mustache in this cube right here and it's like it's a precious one i will show it to you i think i believe it was my very first mustache yarn purchase ever so i don't know when i i think i started knitting socks in 17 16 i don't remember I think I bought this before I started to do socks and I thought, you know what, I this is pretty. So I purchased it and then I started making socks and then I'm like, this is too pretty to use. So here's my very first mustache yarn skein. And this is, it's got a, it's got a kind of a dirty name, okay? So just calm, cool your jets, okay? Kama Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> I think she changed it to just, is it comma? K-A-M-A. -A. I think that's what she just changed it to, but this has, this has 20 even stripes, so 20 colors. I can't get myself to knit this one either. We'll see how I feel after I knit all my Star Wars colors. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty old bag. I wish these had dates on them. I wish I put dates on these when I first got them, but I didn't. No, if it does not have a date on it. But love it. So, yeah, that's my very first mustache skein. And it might be my last if I finish everything in my summer sock camp basket. Yeah, that's kind of scary. So pretty much the majority of this now is Harry Potter yarn. Minus a few. That's it. All right, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else. Life stuff. Um, it's getting kind of crazy with the last couple of weeks of school left. Like I said, um, Cedar Point trip on f next Friday. 
they have to, I have to drop them off like at six, 15, 6.30 a.m. Luckily that this is um, a trip that they're, both of them are going together. It's the same day. I, I can drop them off at the same place. I was kind of worried about, you know, because they go to two different schools. I'm like, how am I going to drop both of them off at the same time at the same place or at the same same time, two different places. No, nope, I'm only one person, but. <laughs> and it's the school that's closer to us, so we can walk. And we'll have a nice, brisk 6 a.m. walk. <laughs> and then they don't come home until like 11 p.m. So I gotta force myself to stay awake. And yeah, I'm probably gonna put my jammies on. And then I'm going to have to get dressed again to go pick them up. Um, I have a feeling that <clears throat> it's going to be faster and quicker for me to walk and pick them up than try to drive down there. Because I envision a very long carpool line and I'm not sitting in that. I could go, hey, you and you, come on, let's go. And I bet I'll be in and out of there like five, five minutes tops, maybe ten instead of 45 minutes and that late at night you know it's like i want to get back and get to bed but i think after that i'm i'm not gonna be able to fall asleep because <clears throat> i'm usually in bed at 10 30 like ready to like sleep sleep at 10 30. so that will be interesting <clears throat> we'll see how that goes but they're excited this is a i think a yearly band trip that they always do <clears throat> <clears throat> losing my voice. They have to like um, attend all of the band concerts unless you know if they're sick. If they're sick they're fine but <clears throat> um, and do all their homework. I don't know if they have to have a certain grade or not but I think they just have to finish their homework and participate in the uh, concerts throughout the year. So Obviously, my, sh my kiddos have done that, and they're both going, and that trip was a pretty penny, times two, because I have two childs. <laughs> oh, that kind of stung a little bit. It's okay. It was way cheaper than their braces. I'll just say that. <laughs> they did do fundraisers throughout the year to help raise money towards it, and I'm not a, I'm not a fundraiser person. Uh, I don't know a lot of people, and besides, you know, my parents and my in-laws, and how much how much stuff they buy is not going to be enough to even bother. So we just said, we'll just pay full price for the trip for both of you. It's, it was easier that way. <laughs> so I'm hoping that the weather is nice for them because they've been looking forward to this pretty much all year. I hope it doesn't rain. Uh, I hope it's not like scorching hot. Yeah, but so that is next Friday. Uh, what else? I really don't have anything else. 43 minutes. That's about my usual content. Um, oh, my Star Wars yarn. I have an app on my tablet, on my iPad. It's called Spin the Wheel, I believe. I put all of my Star Wars color names on there. And because I was trying to like, I don't know which one to pick. So I put all of them on the wheel, spun the wheel, and that's how Lando popped up. And then I took Lando off, and then I will spin the wheel next time when I do my Star Wars. I was kind of hoping to do Ahsoka last, because I just got that one. But I mean, that screams me. I mean, doesn't it? I wonder if that's like um, <clears throat> the one I was knitting. I don't remember what it looked like, but it did. I did buy the the 50 gram. So I will use this for heels, toes, and cuffs. I'm going to go nuts. I bought the 50 grams. I'm going to use it, right? Yeah, so I will, we'll, we will see where I'm at. Can I finish both of those socks by next Friday? 
we will see. I have plans. We're going out tomorrow to my parents. I am able to knit some. Not as, not as much as I would at home, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's about the same. We'll see. But I get to knit in the car there and back, and it's about an hour-ish each way. So there's at least two hours, maybe two and a half hours of knitting time, at least. So, yeah. So let me know which color of opal I should do next. 55 or 54. And I will do this next. And then I will let the wheel pick my next Star Wars colorway and we'll just keep on trucking. All right, I think that's it. It's almost 10 now. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you are all enjoying summer sock camp if you are making socks. Um, like and subscribe. Questions or comments down below. I do love hearing from you and chatting with you. And hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.